Hi everyone, and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest, the capital city of Hungary here in Central Europe. I hope everybody has had a great start to the weekend and is finding time for both rest and study. Hi Deadly Assassin, hi Pedram. Hi, Richa Pachu, good to see you in class. Flower Sun, what a nice name. Students, uh, in this class, we are looking at speaking part three, the challenging questions following the cue card. And as usual, our materials, they come from our websites, aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Check us out there. And for the general version of the exam, check us out at G-I-E-L-T-S-help.com. That's generalieltshelp.com. On both of these websites, we have loads of great materials for you. Now, uh, in the last 24 hours, we had a little bit of a network issue, a little bit of database uh, network problem, connectivity problem. So our websites were down, and that's very unusual for us. It hasn't happened in a long, 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 long time maybe over a couple years, so um, we'd like to uh, apologize for that. And uh, we do have a special coupon for uh, the apology. So just today, you can use the coupon FIX30 to get a 30% uh, discount on our uh, websites. So if you go to aehelp.com, and I'll just quickly show you these. Um, this is our academic... Uh, website here you can click that big join now button this is our general version here at gltshelp.com you can click that red button there and then uh, if you go to the checkout form I'll just uh, darken it up here because it'll be bright otherwise um, so if you go to the checkout form you'll see this uh, green button here uh, that shows use coupon code so you can click that and then uh, you can uh, enter FIX30 to get that 30% discount. That's just for 24 hours. Uh, of course, it's a very good discount. And again, it's just for as an apology to some of our students for that downtime. So for the next 24 hours, you can use that code FIX30. All right. Um, as well, of course, you can use our apps, uh, Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help. The apps are linked with the website. They're in the same database, so those probably weren't working for you either in the last few hours, but uh, everything's good now. Um, students, if you have questions about the exam uh, or our products, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Hi, Shang Hung. Hi, Ferdovs. Hi, Danielle. Good to see so many of our members in this class already. Uh, again, um, speaking part three today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, no classes. Okay, 22nd, I'm back with speaking part one and then lots more classes. I'll put that schedule uh, behind me up in the uh, YouTube uh, community board on our channel so you can see the schedule for next week there. I'll do that um, after this class. Yesterday, uh, we looked at part two with members talking about protecting the environment. So this was yesterday's cue card. Uh, talk about an idea you had to protect the environment. Okay, uh, this is a speaking class, so make sure that you speak and repeat. So when you hear me uh, say some sentences, just speak and repeat. Okay. It's a good practice. So the cue card was talk about an idea you had to protect the environment and then you had to say what was the idea, why and when did you think of this, uh, what do or did you need to make it a reality and how does it help to protect nature. And we, um, we started the answer, we got halfway through the response. So just read and repeat this with me and we will use some of this information for today's part three questions, okay? So one super important idea, okay, let's start one more time, speak, repeat. One super important idea that I've had to protect nature is to establish a plastics recycling center in my city. 
My idea is to create a system whereby the citizens of the city can recycle their plastic bags, drink containers, and other plastics instead of throwing them into the garbage. The people can put their plastics into a special bin, which is picked up once a week by a company truck and taken to a plant where the plastic is broken down or melted for future use. There's an old factory just outside of the city which can be refurbished to be the perfect plastics recycling center. I came up with this idea about half a year ago because I got sick and tired of seeing people throw their plastic garbage into the rubbish and onto the street. Also at that time, I had watched a documentary film about the harmful effects of plastic containers on wildlife, namely the thousands of whales and other sea animals that die from plastic poisoning each year. So I convinced a few of my friends that we should take action by creating a business plan and submitting a proposal to city council. Also, we contacted some investors as this idea requires about half a million dollars seed capital to uh, begin operation. Currently, this project is underway and according to our estimations, once the plant is operational, it will recycle approximately 10,000 tons of plastic in its first year. Ultimately, the city's streets will be cleaner and less wildlife will suffer. Of course, this will improve the living conditions of people as well as potentially increase tourism as well since visitors like to see clean streets and beaches. All right, that's roughly your full two minutes used right there. Um, so plastics recycling center, what it needs, what it will result in. And then the examiner will say that is the end of part two. Your two minutes is up. Please uh, give me back the card. I'll take back the note paper and the pencil. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I will ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Two, focus students, focus. This is a very important statement. So when the examiner says, I will ask you more questions related to the topic of part two, that means uh, you need to make connections. Make some connections among part three answers and your part two response. Okay, that will improve your coherence score and uh, you will, of course, use more complex language uh, and uh, you'll just get a better band score. So the examiner will say, let's talk about recycling and waste. Okay. And who lucky we talked about a recycling center. Um, so first question, give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. Use the question in your answers, pay attention to grammar. How has waste management changed over the past century? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. How has waste management changed over the past century? Pedram says, well, it has changed a lot over the past 30 years. As I mentioned in the last section, new methods such as local plastic recycling and shoreline cleanup clubs have really helped manage these situations. Just last week, I donated $30 to them. Okay, Pedram, not bad. Uh, remember here we're talking about past century, so past 100 years, okay? 100 years, not 30 years. Careful. Sue says, the ways we manage our waste have changed dramatically over the years from simply dumping waste in the streets like towns did a century ago to increasingly sophisticated methods of converting waste into useful products. Sue, really nice. I love that you're using the present perfect. You're uh, reflecting on the question. 
giving an explanation, uh, maybe include an example to make it even better. Very nice, Sue. Juan Pablo Avila says, it's changed along with technology and general knowledge about how to take care of the environment. Some governments teach people how to recycle and help small businesses become more environmentally friendly. I think that last word didn't fit, Juan, but I bet it was in your mind. That's really nice, Juan. That's, again, a very nice answer. It's a high band answer. You're using the question and nice contraction with the it's changed, right? Because it's is it has in this case. So it has changed along with technology. Good job. Juan Pablo. So Juan Pablo says, it's changed a lot uh, over the past hundred years with advancements in technology and general knowledge. about taking care of the environment. In the early 1900s, people just threw their rubbish into garbage. piles and even onto the streets. But these days, there are complex waste management systems that are much more viable, such as the A recycling truck that rolls past my place each week to pick up paper, plastic, and metal refuse. All right, there is your super advanced band nine answer with answer, explanation, example using the question, using the present perfect grammar of the question. Uh, thank you for that start, Juan Pablo. All right, repeat after me. Students, this is a speaking class, so let's do this together. Repeat and speak. How has waste management changed over the past century? It's changed a lot over the past hundred years with advancements in technology and general knowledge about taking care of the environment. In the early 1900s, people just threw their rubbish into garbage piles and even onto the streets. But these days, there are complex waste management systems that are much more viable, such as the recycling truck that rolls past my place each week to pick up paper, plastic, and metal refuse. There you go. That's your band nine expert English user response. Rajveer says, there have been numerous changes in the waste management in the last hundred years. Firstly, people have become aware of sorting waste and using suitable bins to dispose them. Secondly, recycling has revolutionized as well. I know that I put my paper, plastic, and metal into separate containers. Right, Rajveer? That would be your example. Very good. Ro Roshni Murasa, also some nice responses there. I quickly read over them. Um, here we go. Next question. Now, this is the follow-up question. And again, be ready for this. Follow-up questions are coming in part three. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Okay. So how will it change in the future? Give me a nice full sentence answer for this one. If you're not sure, if that catches you off guard, you're kind of surprised and you're like, whoa, what? Uh, then you can start by saying something like, hmm, I never thought about that. But 
I'm sure it will change in the coming years, I suppose. Okay, so I'm buying a bit of time with these expressions using this language to help me think a little bit instead of just staring silently at the examiner, thinking, blinking. Okay, say something, right? Buy some time, okay? Buy some time. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's see. Do we have any answers yet? Joya says, just as the uh, waste management system has changed over the last century, so too will waste management change in the future. Advancements in technology will make recycling more efficient with less byproducts. Joya, not bad. You're on the right track. I just added and colored your response to make it more accurately. Okay. Sama Mahmoud says, hi. I did my exam today, and I want to thank you. It went quite well. Sama, ding. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, Sama. Hopefully, you get a super nice band score, meet your requirements, okay? Uh, do come back and share your results with us when you have them. Let me know if it worked or if it didn't work. In either case, we'll go from there. All right. Uh, somebody says we should speak about general topics. However, you mentioned the truck in front of your place. Is this okay? Absolutely. Uh, smooth flowing examples like this, such as the recycling truck that rolls past my place each week to pick up paper, plastic, metal. There's no way that's going to hurt your mark. Okay. There's no way the examiner will say, Hey, don't say that. <laughs> okay. They'll be like, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Right. It's modern management systems. Okay. So you have to be tricky with those smooth flowing examples. Okay. Juan Pablo says it'll change, making it easier for people to recycle. There are some products which encourage recycling since the fabrication process using material that can be separated and reused with little hassle. Okay. Juan, I would say not with no problem, but with little hassle, little hassle. Good. For Dove says, in the future, people will use all recycled items as well as individuals will be fined uh, more severely than today, um, like $1,000 instead of 100 for throwing plastics into the garbage. Good. For Dove's nice. Give an example of that increased fine. So express yourself, okay? Rather than $100, the fine will be $1,000 for throwing paper into the garbage. Okay. Shang Hung says, in my opinion, people have to recycle all items to avoid wasting and damaging the environment. P uh, paper, plastic, and metal, for instance, nice Shang Hung, uh, should be separated into different categories. Just last night, I threw the plastic bag in the recycling bin instead of the garbage. Yeah, not general bin, garbage. General bin's okay, Shang Hung. I would say garbage. Okay. Hi, Awaz. Welcome to the class. Deepesh says, we already in many parts of Europe have upgraded our methods of recycling. In the future, it will be even easier and faster to recycle. Yeah. So, hmm, I never thought about that, but I'm sure it will change in the coming years. I suppose the system of recycling will be even more efficient whereby special machines will be able to separate all types of garbage and effectively recycle them for future use. Okay, so um, you don't have to be super expressive for every question. Just make sure to answer completely. Okay, so how will it change in the future? Hmm, I never thought about that, but I'm sure it will change in the coming years as it has in the past hundred. I suppose the system of recycling will be even more efficient whereby special machines will be able to separate all types of garbage and effectively recycle them for future use. Okay. 
All right. Some nice answers in there, students. Some nice answers in the chat. Okay, beautiful. All right. Next question. So the examiner will keep going and uh, maybe a statement. Some people neglect to recycle their rubbish as they should. What can be done to discourage this behavior? Okay. Give me a nice full sentence answer for that question. So some people neglect to recycle their rubbish. Neglect means not pay attention. Okay, not pay attention to. Neglect. Neglect. Not pay attention to. I hope you're repeating me. Okay, so some people neglect to recycle their rubbish. Rubbish is another way to say garbage, as they should. Uh, what can be done to discourage this behavior? Okay. Pedram says, hmm, that's an interesting question. Definitely by educating these individuals, this issue can be solved as they learn about the consequences. They shall be more conservative. TV and social media ads can be an effective way for this. Yeah, and Pedram ads, like advertisements or advertisements, as the British say, it's just one D, okay, ad, A-D, okay. If you put a second D there, Pedram, it means like plus adding together. Lakshmi, uh, for this, social media is effective. Lakshmi, you definitely need to be more expressive than that, okay. Deadly Assassin says, there has been great progress in waste management technology. The technological growth has reached a certain extent where students have discovered new types of bacteria which decompose plastics. That's incredible, uh, Deadly Assassin. Yes, I have heard about that, by the way. Karam says, by implementing a heavy penalty. Give me an explanation, Karam. Give me an example. Okay. Juan Pablo says to encourage people to recycle, governments can create programs like reducing taxes for people and businesses who separate their waste. Also, ads on TV can be useful, especially to teach how to recycle. Yeah, in Budapest here, I'm still often surprised by how much recyclable products go into the waste. Okay. Uh, Rajveer says, in my opinion, not only public awareness through media, but also strict enforcement of policies to penalize such people are required to dissuade them to do such activities. Rajveer, that is a brilliant band nine answer. Okay, so not only can these people be educated through social media and other means about the dire consequences of not recycling, but authorities should also enforce laws with strict penalties like a thousand dollar fine for not recycling to dissuade such individuals from this socially irresponsible behavior. All right. Nice. Nice answer. Um, I'll take a piece of that. So repeat after me. Some people neglect to recycle their rubbish as they should. What can be done to discourage this behavior? Not only can these people be educated through social media, and other means about the dire consequences of not recycling, but authorities should also enforce laws with strict penalties like a $1,000 fine for not recycling 
to dissuade such individuals from this socially irresponsible behavior. Uh, dissuade, that was very nicely used by Rajveer, means to discourage, okay? So to um, make people not do, okay? So dissuade, uh, very nice. Dire consequence, dire means an extremely bad outcome. Okay, nicely done. Um, all right, Daniel Tarasov says, I genuinely believe it'd be a great idea to educate individuals how to pay attention to recycling by showing them documentaries and statistics that reveal the horrible aftermath of not recycling and careless behavior towards the environment. Uh, Daniel, nice. Um, a couple of corrections there, uh, but otherwise overall very good. Okay. All right. In my opinion, there could be several important um, instructions for recycling. Okay. And then you want to continue from there. All right. Um, good job, students. Keep working on it. Keep expressing yourselves. Follow-up question. Why is this important? So why is it important? Now, of course, this means why is it important to uh, change the behavior of people who do not recycle? So why is that important? Why should we do that? Why do we care? Give me a nice full sentence answer. Marasa Baraki says it plays a vital role because without cooperation of the public, it's difficult to keep the environment clean and protect the flora and fauna. Furthermore, in this way, people learn to be responsible. All right, Marasa, good ideas. Careful with your grammar. Uh, Juan Pablo says this is important because there is going to be so much waste in the future that if just some people recycle, it's not going to be enough to make an impact on the environment. Uh, Juan Pablo, I want to give you two thumbs up because you're really paying attention to what I'm saying. So you're really picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, this means that I think you watched the last class with the members, the question and answer session, where uh, one of the members, I um, can't remember the name, Vexton, Vexan, uh, asked about using formal and informal language in the speaking interview. And I said that you can use both. So as long as you're expressing yourself clearly, you can mix the informal with the formal and you're doing that wonderfully. And I'm noticing that just like your examiner will notice. So you're using the word gonna instead of going to, and you're using contractions. I saw that in your previous answers which is great. It's nice natural language. And yet you're still making sure to express yourself completely. So good job, uh, Juan Pablo. That is the way a high level native speaker would approach these questions. Very good. All right. I hope everybody got the key information from what I just said there. All right. Pedram says, well, for example, if most people stay ignorant to this fact, Soon, not only will all the uh, resources run out, but also Mother Nature will be polluted to the extent that it's no longer livable. Pedram, you're expressing some complex ideas in that response, so careful with that. Uh, one more time, Pedram, this is how you should express that clearly and accurately. So, well, for example, if most people stay ignorant, stay ignorant, different word form, ignorant to this fact, soon not only will all of the resources, not minerals, resources run out, but also mother nature will be polluted to the extent that it's no longer livable. Okay, livable is the word that you're looking for in that situation. Otherwise, nice, Pedram, nice, uh, nice ideas. You just have to change some words to make it Natural and accurate. Hadia Shahzad says it's essential to keep the environment clean through recycling all types of products. Uh, as I've listened in the news, that paper 
will no longer be produced after 2070. Very nice, Hadia. Yeah, there's some interesting news coming out about paper and plastic use in the next 10, 20 years. Governments are making some big, big changes starting this year. So we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Sheng Hung says, if people put all the garbage into the trash, the country will face uh, a lack of landfills and uh, detrimental uh, pollution uh, for the air and the land. It not only damages the environment, but also harms the health of citizens. Yeah, and we are a part of that environment. So why is this important? Um, <clears throat> it is crucial that all people do their part when it comes to to protecting uh, mother nature since even a small percentage of ignorant individuals who neglect to recycle cause detrimental damage to the environment which harms both animals and plants as well as humans okay so there's my answer Notice how for the follow-up answers, I keep uh, my responses uh, a little bit shorter. Now, this isn't a standard, but it's kind of, it is common. So it's logistically common um, where with the initial question, okay, uh, you might have a little bit of a longer response. And then with the follow-up question, if you've answered the first question very clearly, and the follow-up question often will not demand such a long response. Not necessarily, but often. Okay, so repeat after me. Why is this important? It is crucial that all people do their part when it comes to protecting Mother Nature, since even a small percentage of ignorant individuals who neglect to recycle, notice this adjective clause, who neglect to recycle, cause detrimental damage to the environment. Detrimental means horrible, terrible. Damage to the environment, which harms both animals and plants as well as humans. Okay. Doing fantastic, students. Again, speak, speak, speak. So you're not just reading. Remember, this isn't just a reading and typing session. This is a speaking session. I want you all to speak okay next question which behaviors should be encouraged in current and future generations to reduce waste and safeguard the environment give me a nice full sentence answer for this one so, which behaviors should be encouraged in current and future generations to reduce waste and safeguard the environment? Gural Shahal says, hi, Adrian. Thanks for your guidance. I scored seven bands in the 4th of January exam. I just followed your channel here on YouTube. Thanks again. God bless you. You are very welcome, Gural. Good job getting band sevens, I hope that your next steps in life are just as successful. Okay. Pachuya Dub says, to reduce and safeguard the environment, we should uh, make awareness about the environmental problems. So they should recycle materials such as paper. Okay. Also, we should understand the concept of three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, and zero concept of waste. Very good, Pachu. I love how you got the three R's in there. Good, yeah. So um, maybe some of you uh, know this, maybe not. The international sign for recycling looks like this. Okay, that's the international symbol. 
And uh, what a lot of people may or may not know is that uh, these lines are actually three R's, okay? And the three R's are recycle, reuse, reduce. Very good, Pachu, fantastic. I love how you got that into the chat. Um, and um, which of these is most important? Anybody know? So this is all uh, in the fun science of waste management. So among the three, recycle, reuse, reduce, which is the most important according to scientists that people need to concentrate on? And yes, I will read your responses after. We have this very quick, brief. Yeah, so it's actually um, reduce, okay? So some of you are saying reuse, but uh, scientists say focus first on reducing as number one. So just use less. Okay, if you're uh, using uh, a handful of soap in the morning to wash yourself, try to use half as much, right? So reduce is number one, okay? Use less, okay? If you're using five pieces of toilet paper, try to use just two, right? So reduce. Then second is reuse, and third is recycle, okay? That's the order of importance. So try to use less, try to reuse what you have. So don't use paper cups for your coffee every morning, but try to use a plastic cup that you use again and again. And once you're finished using your plastic cup, you've used it 20 times for your coffee, then recycle it, okay? So that's the idea, all right? So it's reuse, reduce, recycle, number one, two, three. And that's what these three arrows mean. So now when you see that symbol for recycling, you'll be able to say, hey, I know what those mean. Okay. All right. Um, aside from that quick, brief interlude, educating the world on recycling, us Canadians love to recycle. Let's take a look at some of your answers. Latifa says, interesting question. I think we should start using more reusable products rather than disposable items because even with good recycling systems, some people still avoid recycling. Yes, Latifa, and recycling takes energy and it has byproducts. Reusing and reducing, much less byproducts, much less energy required, right? Very good. Okay. So, uh, a couple more answers. In the 21st century, when the environmental balance is on the verge of being lost, in my humble opinion, parents should encourage a sense of loving mother nature by teaching to reuse and reduce. Right? Shang Hung underneath, reduce. <laughs> Finishing that idea. Well done. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. Sure. So, aside from the importance of recycling. As I had mentioned previously, people need to be motivated to reuse and reduce reuse products and reduce waste. In fact, Starbucks gives a 10% discount to customers who bring a reusable coffee cup with them to their cafes. All right. Uh, so there's my answer taking from what we've just said. And uh, I believe this is actually a true fact for all of those Starbucks lovers around the world. Um, aside from the importance of recycling, as I had mentioned previously, 
People need to be motivated to reuse products and reduce waste. In fact, Starbucks gives a 10% discount to customers who bring a reusable coffee cup with them to their cafes. Yeah, so if you didn't know that, now you do. All right, a little Starbucks plug, but hey, Starbucks has done a good job with that. So hopefully they keep going forward and becoming a more and more green company in the future as well. All right, and then the follow-up question, how can this be done? So how can you encourage people to reuse and reduce? What can we do as society to encourage this behavior? Okay, let's see what you come up with. So Daniel uh, Tarasov says, I firmly believe that uh, educators and scientists should attempt to provoke and stimulate brave and responsible acts in the faces of all individuals. In my personal opinion, it should be taught that we are all obligated to realize the aftermath of our deeds as well as encourage others to pay more attention to recycling waste. Uh, Daniel, it's okay, but it's kind of general. It's, I'm having a hard time really picturing what you're trying to tell me. So you want to be more specific than that, okay? Pabtsi Aze says, the best way to solve this problem is to avoid plastic materials forever, uh, which scientists created new types of plastics, which when they're mixed with water, they dissolve. Pabtsi, the word that you're looking for is dissolve. Okay, uh, repeat after me, Pabtsi, others. Uh, the sugar cube, the sugar cube dissolved in my warm cup of coffee. Okay, sugar cube, that's a sugar cube. You throw it into your cup of coffee and uh, it will dissolve. It means melt away. Okay, melt away. So dissolve, the word is dissolve. Solve, solvent, dissolve, okay? Dissolve, all right? Sagun says, I think the production of plastic polyethylene bags should be vanquished and replaced with other reusable um, storage items, not things, Sagun. Never use the word things, okay? Backpacks, bags, uh, grocery satchels. Um, storage containers, okay? Use another word because people use it for daily activities, but many uh, don't recycle it, okay? For Dobbs says, government authorities and companies should encourage people to reduce waste through discounts for products and utilities. Yeah, very good for Dobbs, just like we said with uh, Starbucks, right? So connect to your answer, why not? Okay, connect to your answer. Okay, so that's a good way. Um, well, as is the case with Starbucks, monetary incentives can encourage people to reuse products instead of throwing them away um, in the negative uh, the 10 cents people pay for plastic grocery bags encourages them motivates them to bring textile reusable bags instead. Also, people should be encouraged to love nature by taking kids on hikes and 
adventures throughout their school years. All right, so there's a nice high band descriptive answer with a couple of good ideas. Repeat after me. How can this be done? Well, as is the case with Starbucks, monetary incentives can encourage people to reuse products instead of throwing them away. In the negative, the 10 cents people pay for plastic grocery bags motivates them to bring textile reusable bags instead. Also, people should be encouraged to love nature by taking kids on hikes and adventures throughout their school years. All right, fantastic. Um, students, if you're doing a good job in the speaking, then uh, your examiner will then say, uh, let's talk about nature's wisdom. If people continue to abuse the environment, what will be the consequences? What are the warning signs of such consequences that we can observe today? Some people believe that it is too late for humanity to reverse the damage done to the planet. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? Students, these last couple of questions and their follow-up questions, I will leave for you to do as homework. Record on your phone in an MP3 format. Send it to me and I will let you know roughly what band score your speaking would earn you in the interview. Again, my email is Adrian at aehelp.com, okay? You can contact me there. You can send your MP3 recordings there and I will gladly help you out. Again, uh, students who are trying to use the website in the last um, 24 hours or so, we, I know we had some problems with the website. There was a network issue. Uh, so if you want to register for aehelp.com premium course or gialshelp.com premium course, uh, we do have this uh, special discount for the 24 hours just to kind of say that we're sorry for that interruption in our service. Uh, so you can enter the code FIX30, F-I-X-30 into the coupon code field and get a 30% discount. But that discount is only for 24 hours. And again, our sincere apologies for that interruption in our software and applications. Our techs have uh, really worked overtime to fix that problem. So that's done now. And I'm really glad, Marasa, that I've motivated you for the three R's of recycling. Students, it is our responsibility to protect our planet, to do everything that we can to make sure that our children and our children's children have a planet to enjoy as we have. So we have to do our part. I'll leave you with that note for the next few days, and I will be back uh, on Wednesday with speaking part one. Much love to all of you from the heart of Budapest here in Hungary. Bye for now.